Hello again, this is John, ready to do another video today. Um, we're going to talk about the sound system that I have in my booth, talk a little bit about the different processors and a little bit how it's hooked up. Um, I've had some interest in that, so we'll see if we can't go through it a little bit today. Just make a really quick video just to kind of show my system. Okay, here we are. We're in our in my booth. Um, and this is our this is our CP 500 that I just installed just recently. It's been in for probably oh maybe four or five six months maybe at the most. Um, and I have my uh, Blu-ray player, which we do play digital videos here, Blu-rays and 4K discs. And then the next thing is our DTS that plays the DTS sound off the film. And then as we come down a little bit lower, we've got our SDDS, which is a Sony. And then I've got four amplifiers that can do eight channels. Six for the two processors. And then of course then we got eight channels coming out of the out of the Sony. And the way I turn that on is I have a I actually have a UPS. I actually have a UPS system that I use to actually, you know, control everything so that hopefully the, it'll have better power coming off the UPS and how that turns on is I just push this and I hold it and then all the systems come up. And that's how that, how that works. Okay, so now I'm going to explain a little bit about each of the processors. Um, <clears throat> the first one is the, the Sony SDDS. It's an 8-channel system. And what that is, is it incorporates a center channel, a center left channel, a center right channel, and then also a right channel and a left channel. So you have five speakers in the screen. And then you have two surround channels in the back. So that's a total of seven channels. And then you've got the subwoofers, which make the eight channels. DTS is a 5-1 system, so it's six channels. And so what it will use, it won't use the center left or center right. It'll only use the left, right, center, and the two surrounds in the, in the, uh, in the back of the theater. And then you've got the CP500 which basically has your uh, Dolby SR which is again a five channel system and it has five, five channels for left, center, and right and then you've got your two left and right surrounds and then of course the, the subwoofer. Um, so that's kind of explains how each system it works and then of course the CP500 has mono and uh, you know it has the old Adobe A stereo too that was before the Dolby SR. Anyway so now we're going to kind of get into showing you how everything's hooked up. Okay so now we're in the we're in the back of the back of the system um, kind of showing where all the wiring is. Quite a bit of wiring. <laughs> Took a little bit to get this all hooked up. But anyway, um, to kind of show you what will happen is if we're on these these connections right here, these are all the outputs for the CP500. They, That's the left, left, right, center, left surround, right surround, and then of course the uh, subwoofer. And that, them cables come down, and what they'll do is they'll come down and they'll plug into all these inputs into this Sony SDDS processor. They'll just plug in. You got your, you got your center, you got your left, right, and all the, so it's got the six channels coming from, from this system up here. You have six channels. Then what's going out to the amps is actually eight channels. So you've got the center, the center, uh, 
left center and the right center and then you've got of course center left right and then left surround right surround and uh, the subwoofer so maybe I can explain a little bit so when we're using the the CP 500 we basically are putting out six channels to the Sony processor and then that takes those six channels out to the amps and what what happens then is the Sony acts like a pass-through so even if the Sony would be off it still act as a pass-through to let the sound through from the CP 500 processor but if Sony has that on the film then what will happen is the Sony will actually bypass the CP 500 and then you'll get just get STDS sound and then you can switch it on the front you could bypass back if you want but the, the Sony does it automatically and then just to show you some other connections we've got the analog we got the analog uh, coming from the red reader and then we've got this is actually just the microphone input for when you set up the sound then I can plug a microphone into this cable and be able to set up my sound this over here is the automation block it tells takes automation to the CP500 and it takes it from the the DTS system which is down here this cable here comes up and goes into here and then this other cable here this other cable here actually goes back to my to my automation box which is right here to be able to control the sound and then this actually controls the DTS so if you're coming over here if we turn this back on we'll let it boot up here so when I go to start the movie it'll it'll start and when the dowser opens what will happen is the the automation will tell the sound system to switch over to Dolby SR which is what it'll do and then when if, there, if I'm running DTS then what will happen as soon as the DTS gets tracked and knows that it has a DTS disc it'll automatically switch to, to DTS if something happens to the DTS then of course it goes back to analog and then I was talking about the Sony what happens with the Sony is it has a bypass switch too but it'll do it automatically it'll if, if it has SDDS on the film then it'll bypass this this will all stay the same up here it'll all stay the same it'll still be on Dolby SR but if this was to drop out for some reason it would revert back to analog another interesting thing is I've got this unit up here and what this is is this is for my blu-ray uh, player it does the sound and I have this six six channel six channel cord that what will happen is I'll I'll unplug I'll unplug this one and then I'll plug that one in and then I can push uh, DTS on the CP500 processor and I've got sound for the Blu-ray and it's basically still the same six channel sound it'll it'll have the surround sound just like just like normal okay so there's just one more thing I'd like to say that there's a website called filmtech.com and if you go on there you can get just about any any manual that you need for any uh, item that you might be looking for is it whether it be a processor an automation system uh, projector they're all on there and it's really cool I think my friend Brad Miller 
had a lot to do with that website and he's one that I always get my uh, DTS files from and so if you can uh, get on there and I'll, I'll put a link to that um, in the bottom of my description how to get there and then if you just go to warehouse and then manuals and then you can click on whatever you know subject that you're looking for and it's pretty intense it's pretty pretty nice website I it's been really good so anyway I just thought that'd be good to know okay so that's a little bit of an overview on my uh, sound system and I hope you got a little bit out of this um, I hope if you like what you're seeing you can you can subscribe and like uh, I do appreciate that and I appreciate all the interest that's in my channel again I'm thankful for that and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.